<laughs> Let me go out and underscore this too. I thought President Obama is, 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 is everything to me. I mean, I love him, I admire him, I respect him tremendously. But <laughs> I heard what he said. You know, President, I heard what you said, man. Like, come on, come on. I, I, that's why I really don't get into politics, I'm into people. Because politicians are. They play the political game, and he was here, and they had to play the political game. So they have two good players. We have more than two good players, <laughs> but then you're here, so you had to support that. And when he said they had won what the last three meetings or two meetings, something like that, he did his homework. Somebody gave him some great statistics. The president, come on, man, you're my man. I love you. I appreciate you. But come on, dog. <laughs> God bless you. I, I'm, I still love you. Okay, I'm going to say what Prime really wants to say. Moses, let's go outside. Come on, big dog. You see, President, President Obama, look, we y'all know my feelings about President Obama and some of you supporters of his would, would not like how I feel. So I'm going to keep my opinions closed because people claim we're not a monolith, but as soon as you have a difference of opinion, they want you to be a monolith, but we're not going to get into that. So, Deion Sanders calls out President Obama in a playful manner, but never mistaken. He was serious and a little bit disappointed in the president. How I know how he speaks uh, about I'm not into politics because you clearly seen Obama being political in that moment, trying to downplay a moment of Colorado. See, uh, y'all not going to catch it and y'all going to call it jokes. But why not joke about other teams like that? Why not have this situation for your North Carolina teams? Like, let, let me fast forward. For him to dismiss Colorado as a team, that's good, but then throw negative connotations on them. But y'all lost. But you guys lost two games already. Barack, stick to basketball. Stick to basketball. You clearly show you don't know football. You don't watch it. I guess you're catering to certain segments in the community. And, oh, they love you throwing digs. Twitter went wild. I guess Twitter is called X now. They went wild. Even Obama doesn't like Colorado. <laughs> now, we know that's not the case here at all. But that's the thing you gave credence to, Obama. Obama. When you want to come out and throw, look, bro, if you're going to mention Colorado, either give them respect or don't mention their name at all. At this point, you're clickbaiting, Obama. You're clout chasing a wave of a certain segment, bro. And to say they have two players, look, y'all going to say it's not that serious, but to me it is. What he says holds weight. Isn't that what you guys say to me? Right? One minute you say he his words holds weight, but if it doesn't go with your narrative, that doesn't mean anything, right? But let's fast forward. To downplay Colorado as merely a team that, that's not really that good who lost two games was kind of foul. We all know Colorado had 19 losing seasons out of 20 prior to Deion Sanders' arrival. We won four games last year, which was a big improvement. We won five games already this year, and the season is still going. Nothing but room to make history. Hang on, I'm going to get my son. I don't know what he's doing. When you have kids, you got to multitask. But these are some of the little things that I just wanted to speak about because it's like everybody's on this weird agenda to, to either give us a backhand compliment. You want to come outside, Moses? Come on, come get some sun, my man. It's like a backhand compliment most of the time or criticism. It's never a really full thought out well respect and compliment. It's never really that. You know what I mean? It's never, oh, man, I just seen Colorado football, man. They played well today or good job, guys. It's always coming with an undertone of, hey, you guys won, but you need to do this. Uh, okay, you guys are there, but you need to do that. But what about all these teams in the top 25 losing by teams who have horrendous records? What about teams who are proclaimed to make it to the playoffs? They're not going to playoffs. They're lucky if they're going to the champs bowl at the end of the year. These teams were predicted to make it to the playoffs. Look at Alabama. You telling me Jalen Milrow 
is better than Shador. A lot of you haters never even like you Shador haters never even like Jalen Mineral. You guys called him a running back and everything, but when he's getting compared to Shador, Shador is trash. You'll take Jalen. I would never take Jalen as a quarterback. My personal opinion. He's one of those qu quarterbacks where I would change his position. You go, you're going to say, but you're a hypocrite when everybody else says that. They're racist. Nah, bro, not, knock it off, bro. We know whether they're white, black, Spanish, or whatever. We know who can play that position if we're judging fairly. In my personal opinion, Jalen Milrow, maybe he needs another year. I don't know. I've seen enough where I wouldn't make him a, uh, my quarterback in a professional level. Just my opinion. The quarterback uh, um, ranks have gotten so hard. And so skilled, you have to have the best available quarterback to lead your team. I think C.J. Stroud showed us that. Even a Bo Nix, he's well prepared. Whether you like Bo Nix or not, he's definitely well prepared. Quarterbacks these days have to be able to be plugged in, uh, uh, plugged in play. This ain't uh, uh, Mr. Love at Green Bay Packers who went through the same thing like an Aaron Rodgers. You know, you stuck it out on the bench for three to four years, then you get the starting jobs. Don't fall for that hype. NFL teams want your tail to play immediately and produce immediately. They want another C.J. Stroud who's playing another great season for his second year. And that's definitely going to be a Shador. That's why they're not looking into what none of you haters are saying, even if you're the so-called president of the United, former president of the United States of America. Thank God your opinions don't really matter like that. The only reason I'm making this uh, 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 announcement about it, there are people in the segment who claim to be Colorado supporters who take your words as gold. You heard what Obama said? Right? These backhand compliments got to stop, man. I know to some of you dudes, it's Obama. I should show proper decorum. This is proper decorum. Had it been anybody else, I would have flamed them. Obama is no exception. I'm just only being respectful because he was the former president. This isn't a black thing. It isn't a white thing. It's a disrespect thing. And the disrespect has to stop, man, because these same people who are having these little snippets of criticisms, wait till when we actually go undefeated. You don't hear me. Moses, get off that sand pit. I don't want the ants to bite you. Move. Right. We, we know what's clearly going on in this cool. Leave him. Leave him there. Leave Sebastian there. Like I'm guiding my son right now. I'm going to speak to him in a proper, respective manner. All Obama had to do, y'all think I'm just talking for nothing. Like, all, like, for real, if we're being honest, like, why Obama always has to be condescending when it comes to us, bro? Everybody else, he has these great speeches, but when it comes to us, especially like Trayvon, when he said, he looks like he could be my son. What the fuck does that mean, bro? Do something about it. More stupid speeches, feel-good stories is what the Negrums love today. Man, the Negrums nation got to do better, bro. Y'all make these dudes become celebrity. Like, he's not above reproach. If Dion, if I could criticize Dion, his kids, and the university, and everybody there, then President Obama could get criticized, too, for throwing backhand compliments. It was lame. It was lame of him. I'm not going to sugarcoat it because he's the first black president. And what did he do for you? But anyways, I don't want to get into that. Because now I'm going to, he's going to have, I'm unsubscribing from you. Well, go ahead. The hell? We just hit another thousand subscribers, man. We had 273 now. So I think it's a good thing when you keep saying, hey, give me your toothbrush. Why did you put your toothbrush on Sebastian? Why did you put your toothbrush on Sebastian, bro? Give it to me. I'm going to tell your mom what you did, man. Why did you put your toothbrush on him? Sebastian, say what's up to the people, man. Say what's up to the people, big dog. Your brother Moses is nasty, bro. He just cleaned your coat with his toothbrush, and he's going to put it back in his mouth. Man, look, man. Salute to former President Obama, but we don't need your support, man. No thank you, sir. These bandwagon supporters who only want to get on the bandwagon when it looks good. Where was you after all this time, though? Yeah. Let's get to that. Hey, I'm DJ Blessed One, the best one, man. Love your family. Love your kids. And stay blessed.